Hello, hello. And today, uh, first, I'm going to apologize for the late puzzle. My uh, uh, daycare had a gas leak, so I had to wait till nap time to make this. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm bringing you the puzzle Cosmic Balance by, I think it's Narrator. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this, but uh, which is a thing I've come to recognize more and more as I make these videos. Uh, that I have been reading these names for so long and have no idea how to actually say them. But I, I, I would, I think I'd say this in my head as narrator, like narrator. Um, but maybe it's narrator. I, I don't know. Uh, if if they end up watching this, hopefully you can give me a correction. Um, anyway, it's a it's a it's a somewhat um, intricate rule set. So let's just get into it. We have a normal Sudoku. So one to digits one to nine in every row, column, and box without repeats. We have fog, so fog is hiding clues as digits are correctly placed into the grid that will reveal different clues. Uh, white circles are quads, so these one, three, four, and six will have to appear at least once in the four uh, cells around the quad. There's another quad down here, which you can kind of see, another one here, which you can kind of see. There are crop key dots, you can kind of see two of them here. White crop key dots indicate that the digits around the crop key dot are consecutive. So this will have to be either five or seven. And uh, if this were a black crop key dot, then the digits have to be in a one to two ratio. So this would have to be a three because it can't be 12 because 12 is not a digit. Uh, and then we have gray odd circles. So somewhere in the, in the puzzle, there will be a gray circle indicating that that digit is odd. So those are the clue types. There is a kind of global constraint here about spiral galaxies. So every single cell is going to be part of one spiral galaxy, exactly one spiral galaxy. So galaxies do not overlap or cross. Every cell is part of one galaxy. Each galaxy is going to be indicated or clued by one of these circle clues. So this quad is the center of a galaxy. This crop key dot is the center of a galaxy, right? These are all the centers of galaxies. And what's true about spiral galaxies in general is that they are uh, orthogonally connected regions that are that have 180 degree rotational symmetry. So you know, if this were the center of a galaxy, if I grew up, I would also have to grow down. And if I grew to the right, I would have to grow to the left, um, kind of from the analogous place. If I grew here, I would have to go here. So that's generally true about spiral galaxies. What's the constraint on spiral galaxies in this puzzle is that they're all killer cages with a sum of 27. And I think that's all the clues. Um, I, I, the text box I've made or the video, the text is quite small, so I apologize for that. But I, I think every single part of there is a really important rule to have available. So um, I put it all there. Uh, let me know, like, if it's just not worth having text that small because you, you can't read it anyway, let me know that so that I can try to abridge things better. Um, but anyway, let's, let's see if we can do the puzzle and go ahead and start. So I'm, I'm, I'm always drawn to given digits, especially when they have another clue attached to them. So that crop key means this is a five or a seven, as I said before, to make that consecutive. But I also know that these are galaxies. So let's just do some coloring here on galaxies that I know exist and are different. So that's that quad is a galaxy. Um, I should be careful. I don't think these can touch, but I, I'll change this one if they can touch. Um, oh no, they can definitely touch like that. Yeah, so let's make this one um, blue. So, okay, so I can draw boundaries between the galaxies because I know that they don't overlap each other. And once you draw a boundary on a spiral galaxy, you can also draw a boundary on the other side of the galaxy because it can't grow the other way. So because this blue galaxy can't grow down here, it also can't grow up here because that would violate the 180 degree rotational symmetry around this crop key dot. So it can't grow here. And similarly, yellow can't grow either of those places. Blue can't grow up because it can't grow down. Purple can't grow up, so it can't grow down. Um, but blue and yellow do have to grow. So maybe let's take a step back and think about the minimum and maximum galaxy size in this puzzle, because 27 
seems to be me to be very carefully chosen to limit the size of these galaxies, right? Because it can't be it can't be up to seven. Uh, how would I draw seven? Something like this. Uh, it can't be a size seven galaxy because the smallest I could make that is the digits one to seven, and that adds up to twenty eight, which is more than twenty seven. So that's too big. Six is fine, I'm sure. Five is okay. Four, I could have three, seven, eight, nine. That's okay. Um, three is not okay though, because the maximum I can make three is seven, eight, nine, adds up to twenty-four. So I can't have three in a galaxy. So everything is between four and six. So twos have to grow. So blue will grow this way because it has to grow, and yellow has to grow this way because it's the only way it can still grow. And yellow and blue, um, I mean, these are boundaries, obviously. So yellow can't grow here to the left because it would have to, I mean, if you just think about this boundary existing, that means this boundary has to exist too. Um, oh, now purple can't grow because this boundary means this can't grow and it can't grow down because it can't grow up. And this boundary means it can't grow over here. So actually, because there's a four here, I know exactly what these digits are. Because once I put a oops, once I put a four in, I know there's 23 left, and the only way to make 23 in three cells is six, eight, nine. So this is four, six, eight, nine. Um, can this also? I think this can also be four, six, eight, nine. So if this were also four, six, eight, nine, those two cells would be those two cells. These two would be these two, which means this is this and this is this. So yeah, I think that's fine. Six would have to go here because it sees everything else, but I think that's okay. Um, this has to grow because this, actually both of these have to grow. If you have a one on it, you have to grow. And those both have ones on them. So they have to grow. Like, can this grow like this? Cut this off? I think so. I think it could. All right, so if I do this, it doesn't, it can snake through. But, well, let's think about, well, yeah, let's just think about this area down here, actually, in general. Because there has, I mean, blue can't get all the way down here. Because if blue got all the way down here, that would be eight cells in the galaxy. That's just too big. So this is not blue. That's not purple. So this is a new thing, let's call it peach, which has to be at least size four. I'm only going there because it, um, I guess in theory it could be this, but I don't think it can be that. So this cell is either blue or peach. Can it be peach? Is what I'm calling this color. I don't think it can. So what happens if this is peach? Let's just color that in for a second. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it doesn't work, but for illustrative purposes, let's say that's peach. Where is the center of this galaxy? First of all, it has to grow because it's not yet symmetric. So it has to grow out here. I'm already at five cells. I can only add one more. How could I possibly make this symmetric in one more cell? There's just no way. If I grow to the left, that's not symmetric. If I grow up, that's not symmetric. It just doesn't work. So that's not peach, that is blue. And this is at least four, so it has to grow up. By the same logic, this can't be peach. But I think this can. I'm pretty sure this could. But blue, blue going down here means blue goes up here. That's six cells, which is the max a galaxy can be. And now this is a new cell, a new galaxy, I mean. And I don't think it can grow left. Right? Because by the same logic, it's not symmetric. So where is it going to grow? If I just grow up more, Oh, well, I can almost do this, except that's going to make two cells here that aren't part of a galaxy or part of an invalid galaxy. And it would cut off this purple cell. So it can't be like this. So if it grows left, it can't do up. It can't do up at all, actually, because I'm, I'm going to end up... This can't all be purple because that's just too big. So if this goes up at all, it has to take like all of these cells, and that's too big. So if it went left, it would have to keep going left. That's five, it's still not symmetric. I only have one more place to grow, and there's nowhere I can put it to make it symmetric. So this doesn't go to the left, it grows up. Um, 
And by the same logic, it can't go over. The only question is, does it go up here? Uh, and I don't, well, I think it does. So what if this is, so this can't be purple because if it's purple, that's eight cells and that's too big. So this is either green or its own new thing. If it's its own new thing, it has to be at least four big, right? And if it's four big, that stops purple from growing and it's too small. It's one, three, four, six, it needs to grow. So this has to be green. And by the same token, this can't be a new thing because that would stop purple from growing. So this has to be purple, which will be here. And now it's size six and it can't grow anymore. Um, yeah, these are just darker because they're fog, I think. Not a different, I, I think I chose the right color. Yeah, same thing down here, okay. Um, but now there's nothing else that's connected. So this has to be its own thing. And... Could I just go down? I think so. This could just do this. Okay. So what now? Uh, yellow doesn't grow left, but it doesn't have to grow at all. Yellow could be done. Uh, what's next? How? What are these digits? These are what's not in the quads. These are one, two, three, five, seven. I can't have five, seven here because that breaks this. So at least one of five or seven are down here. Actually, I think, does pink have to extend? Because what's the biggest I can make this now? It's seven, five, three is 15. I need 12 more. I can't do that in one cell. That's got to grow. And now for blue to grow, it can only grow there. That's got to be blue. Again, blue has to grow because I see this one in the quad. So there's a one in here. So this is at most 25. So that's now that has to be yellow because it can't be its own galaxy. Yellow now goes up here. Peach has to grow out like this. Uh but it could just go down, or I think it could do this too. We got like a four here, or even a five, and this could go like that. I mean, yeah, there's lots, there's lots of ways that could go. Um, what's next? These are one, three, four, six. I know that. We're on the quad. Uh. That sums to 14, so this is 13. No four, no six, so that's a five, eight pair. This digit in this box is a little restricted, but not that restricted. Oh, this is 27. This is 27, plus six is 33, so this is 12. So this is less than 12? This, uh, um, hold on. That felt like important, but now I don't know why. 12, so 12, 27. Can I figure out this sum by, hold on. This is 27, this is 12. No, because I don't know this sum. Right, um, yeah, no, I don't know how to do that. Hold on, these are one, two, three, five, seven. How do I get 12 out of that? Um, I can't have seven and five. Let's do it the other way. One, two, three, five, seven adds up to 18. Pick three of those to make 12, so the other two make six. To make six, it can only be one, five. So these are one, five. Oh, that would have been smarter. So if this is 12, this is 27, that's gotta be six. And one, two, three, five, seven. That's one, five, that's not. Um, so seven here or here? If seven were here, that'd be really nice because I can make this five, but I think seven has to be here, right? Because how big, this is, at, this is at most 17. So this is at least 10. So this cell is at least four. So it's a seven. 
And now I know, well, I guess I knew before I placed the seven, what these digits are. They are one, four, five, eight, nine. This isn't five, eight, because it sees the five, eight pair. Uh, what are these digits now? Two, three, and six is 11. So that's 16 minus five is 11, which would have to be four, seven. If that's seven, it's nine left without two, three, six, seven. So that leaves four, five, and one, eight. Uh, okay, that's a lot. I almost, I almost want to delete that. Um, that could be anything. One, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So two and three are in here, which means two and three are in here. Or is this just a, this is just a one, four to nine septuple. That's wild. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's easier to see it this way, for me at least. Um, what are these digits now? So this is now six minus 13, that's 15 without a seven. So that's a six, nine pair. Did I do that right? Six and seven is 13. No, six, eight pair. Because uh, I can't have five, nine. Be, sorry. Let me start over. This is 13. To get to 27, I need 14, not 15. There's no five, so it can't be five, nine. So it's got to be six, eight. Um, I don't know. I don't know what these are yet. So what, what do I do? What are these digits possible? There's just so many possibilities here. Um, two, three, so that's not three. So three is over here for sure. Could this be one, five? Yeah, I don't see why not. Two, three, something, something. I mean, I don't even know how many digits this is. Uh, so now, like I have this one, five, seven, eight, almost something. Oh, where's six? Six has to be here. Six is not here. Like where's six in column eight? The only place I see it is here. And where's seven? Seven has to be here, right? There's no seven here. There's no seven here. So actually that is, a, that's the only place seven can go in box three. And that's a crop key dot. So that's six, eight, I get a six, eight pair. So no six here, which means yes, six here. I already kind of knew that. Yeah, I should have, I should, well, I guess like the six could have been here before. Um, hold on. If there's definitely a seven here, does that, I think that eliminates like, uh, let's just do it over again. I feel like one of these things didn't have a seven in it. Um, two, three, six is 11. Suppose this is not seven, so that's five. Two, three, six, five is 16. I need nine more, but it has to have a seven. So that, it doesn't work. Because four or five is taken. And these have a seven, maybe seven, two, but two, why, why did two have to be over here? F oh, no, two is already here. So that's why it can't be here. So there's no, but it can't be two. So that actually doesn't work. This just has to be a five, right? No, this has to be a seven. Because if this is a five, I can't put a seven here with it. Wait, hold on, let me do the math again. Six, five is 11. No, it's 11, seven, four. It does work. But it's seven, four. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I've got five in this, so the other four have to add up to 
uh, 22. 22 and 4 is pretty easy. Um, but there's no 6 in it, actually. I wonder if that... 22 and 4 without a 6. How many ways can I think to do that? Um... Well, I just I just think about okay, nine going here, but then I see nine actually has to go in here. So that has to have a nine. So this is actually just a six nine, and making this a four eight it means that's not four. That's a one six, which makes this a three four. Now I really have something maybe because now three four six eight are gone. So these five digits are one two five seven nine. And two can't go here, so two has to go here. So these are from one, five, seven, and nine. Nine, make this an eight, which doesn't, doesn't work. Seven, make this eight or six, which doesn't work. Five makes this a four, which doesn't work. Because it can't be six either. So that's a one, that's a two. Those aren't one. One, four, three is here. And then whatever is missing from all this mess is here. Uh, actually, one, six makes this five. Um, six, one, four, five, oh, one is not here anymore. Uh, four, five, seven, eight. I, there has to be a four here now, which means there's no eight because there are only four possible digits and they have to add up to, um, they have to add up to 16. So four, five, seven is how you do that from those four digits. So that's, you take away the eight, uh, which makes this eight and makes this five. Oh, I get another galaxy, that's good. Uh, let's make this blue. Then oh, and the pink, that's up to the galaxy. So that's, um, let's call that green. uh five or yeah so this ha the, because there's a single i was thinking earlier about how many digits a galaxy can have depending on what kind of clue it is so if it's an odd length galaxy which can only be five digits long because they're all four to six i have to have a clue that kind of control that that is over an odd number of galaxies and the only kind of clue that we have that is a single cell, these, these circle odd clues. Um, oh, which actually means this is an odd circle. So that's one, five, or nine, and not one because of here. And so, so the circle center, the, the odd circle centered clues are size five. And then the even, the, the, the clues that take up an even number, so my crop keys and my quads, they take up an even number of cells, so the galaxy is going to be of even size. So that will be four or six. Now that I know there's a crop key, that means this has to be size six, which means it can't just go down like this. Right? I mean, or just more straightforward. If this is the center, for those to work, these have to work. It's already size six, so that's got to be the end of it. And that, since blue can't go to the right, it can't go to the left. Now this has to be green, right? Because this has this can't be peach or yellow. It's got to grow out to at least size four. It hits this, so just center out like this. Now that's size five, and that's how big these odd size galaxies are. And I've got another one here. I don't know that's odd, I guess, but I have another galaxy. Let's call that peach. It has to be at least size four. It can't grow down. It can't grow up here because it'd have to go here, down here. It has to grow because it's not symmetric. So it's got to go here. I have one more, it's still not symmetric, so it's got to grow. I've only got one more place to do it. The only way to make it symmetric is to put it here. So that's a galaxy. This is a galaxy. Right, it can't touch this screen, so I think I'm okay. Because this is not symmetric and that's as big as that can get. Um,
and this can't grow to the right because if it grows to the right, it's suddenly asymmetric. I have one more cell to make it possibly symmetric and none of them work. So it doesn't grow to the right. It could grow up. It could grow up twice, actually. Uh, what about this cell? This can't be part of blue because if it were, it would be too big. So this is its own color. Uh, peach should be safe. But blue does have to grow. Blue does have to grow. So peach cannot, peach can't go. I was thinking peach could do something like this, but that would stop blue from growing. I, I, wonder, I think peach just has to go across. All right, let's say, let's say peach does this. Then blue has to grow like this. Now, how do I possibly make peach symmetric? It's got to grow. It's got to keep growing because it's not symmetric yet. It has to keep growing because it's not symmetric yet. Neither of these make it symmetric. Yeah, it just doesn't work. So peach doesn't go down. Um, but I don't want... Does that mean it's blue? I think it does because what if it's its own new thing? Then it has to grow out here and that also cuts off blue. So that has to be blue, which means that has to be blue which means this cell has to be part of a galaxy. It can't be its own thing because it's too small and it can't get out. So that's blue. That's blue. Peach has to keep growing. And blue is now done because it has six cells. Um, this is not one. Sorry, I was thinking about this and I was like, I don't know what to do with that. But I had a thought about maybe, is it possible for this to be 27? This can't grow down, right? Because if it grows down, I need to grow again to, to get some symmetry back, but none of the growth possibilities would make it symmetric. It could grow to here. And it, I'm thinking it has to. No, it doesn't have to. This could be 4, 3, 1, 2. So I was thinking if this is 27, the rest of this has to be 18 to get to 45, because all these digits add to 45. If this is 27, take that out of 45, you have 18 left. This is 8. That's 10. This just barely works. 4, 1, 3, 2. It just barely works. I should know what these are. One, six, two, three. This should be one. No, this should be four, five, nine. Four, three, one, two. Okay. Um, What done here? So this is its own new galaxy. And it's got to go to at least size four. And if it gets bigger, it has to get out through here. So that's got to be yellow. This has to be part of a galaxy. And it can't be blue or green, so it's yellow. Same here. Now where... What happens next? If this... Well, where is the center of this galaxy? It can't be here, because I don't need stuff in here. It can't be here, same reason. It can't be here, same reason. It can't be here, because that would make it too big. It can't be here as a crop key dot, because... Hold on. Let's think about this slightly differently, because I... I'm worried I'm not going to be exhaustive here. It can't be here or anywhere beyond here. Because if it's exactly here, it's already too big. And if I go further out, that just makes it bigger. Because I have more things to kind of copy over. So the center of the galaxy is somewhere in this square. And it's not a crop key dot here, because that would make these over here. It can't be crop key dot here for the same reason, or here, or here for the same reason. So it's got to be a quad. It can't go beyond here. It can't touch anything else, so it's got to be this. This is just its own galaxy. Uh, 
uh, I'm tempted to count. So you're not going to see me do this, but I'm going to get a calculator out because I cannot do this in my head. And I'm going to do 45 times 9, which is 405. And I'm going to divide that by 27. And that should tell me how many galaxies there are, which is 15. There are 15 galaxies. Apologies if you think that's cheating. I think it's fine. Um, there are 15 galaxies here. We have so far 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Did I do that right? So I need two more galaxies in here that are both size four. I don't know how that would work. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more galaxy. That makes more sense. So all of this, the, these cells are not blue or green. So they're their own last galaxy. Uh, let's just call it, um, what do we use? Purple, we have, we've used that is not any of these colors. This can't be purple. This can't be purple. So these belong to those other galaxies. And now our galaxy construction is done. Um, Go back to digits. What is this? That is three or nine. Now these sum to 10. Well, I should have realized before, yeah, this couldn't be six. So that's gotta be one. And now, because if it's six, those would have to sum to four, but this by itself is already at least four. So that's a one. Right, because um, if this is 27, this is 18, I've already got an 8, so these sum to 10, that's a 1, so these sum to 9. And now, actually, go to the other side, the only way I can do that is to, well, this can't be 9. I have to maximize what's left, so that's 5, that's 4. So that's 9, that's 4. That's 3, that's 6. Um, 7. Yeah, I don't know what this could be. I was thinking that I almost thought the odd clue, because every crop key, white crop key dot has an even and an odd digit on it. And I thought all the dot odds were I thought all the odds were taken here, but there this could be one two still. But, well, but that's I don't know why I'm looking at that. Um whatever's missing from five. Oh, I should know it's there. So oh there's no nine, because nine is up here. So that's not nine. So this is two nine. Got an X wing on nines, putting a nine here. And I think I need a nine in a four yellow, right? Or four galaxy. If it's eight, seven, six, five, which is the biggest it could be without a nine, that's only 26. So nine has to go in there. Um, this is odd, but not one or nine or five. So that's three or seven. Let's see, what is this? This is 12, so this is 15. If it's six, we need nine, but without any of those digits. So that's six, seven, two, three. It could be one, eight, but not four, five. And then one, eight has to go this way because of this one. If it's an eight, I need seven without two or three. So it would have to be one six, again, without the one. So that's one either way, actually. And this is a six, eight pair. So this is not six or eight. Well, what are these digits? They are two, three, six, seven, nine. This one's not six because it sees the six, eight pair, or actually this six, eight pair is easier. Two, three, seven, nine, what am I saying? Four. 
two, three, four, seven, nine, with seven here. Okay, what about this? This is 11, so I need 16. If it's three, uh, it's all, there's too many choices. Four, eight, or five, seven. It's seven, that leaves nine. Yeah, one, eight, three, six, or four, five. Yeah, it's too many choices. Too many choices. Oh, now. Hmm. Well, I do know this isn't odd anymore because it's, it's one, three, five, seven, nine. So this is the odd. And it's one, seven, nine. So this is three, five. So this is not four. It's two or six. Hmm. <laughs> what, what are these digits? I have five digits in this row. What I've left is two, three, four, nine. I need a one in this. So something here is a one. I'm marking a cross block. Uh, I'll use Abdul the Killer's trick of calling this A to remind myself that it's a cross, uh, in a cross box mark. So there's got to be a one in this quad, but it crosses boxes. Um, Well, where do these two cells go in box eight? Because they, they're they not, just by the digits as they could be, they're not six, eight, or five, seven, and they're not in blue. So these two digits, I'm going to give them a pink flash here, have to go up here. And so they have to go in here. So they can't be, for example, a two, three pair. Um, but, I mean, that's it. Not much help. So what are these? So then this green digit goes in here somewhere, right? By the same logic? Because this is not either of those pink ones, so it's not up here. It's not these, but just the digits it could be. It's not this. So this digit goes here somewhere. So this green digit, I'm going to call that, um, why don't I just actually just letter this? We'll call this B, and that's B. No, not, no, that's wrong. One of those is B. One of those is B. And then what's the last, what's the missing digit? B and what? So these digits, these digits. Um, two, three, four, nine, five, six, I'm missing one. So one has to go... So this is B and one. Oh, but this can't be one because one of these is one. So this is just a one. That is a one. Nice. And that, now that is B. Um, now that is B. One is over here somewhere. What's this? Because if this is B, which was two, three, four, nine by this, this this sums to, this is a two, three, four, nine quadruple. That sums to uh, 18, 19. That's got to be an eight. And then that makes this four and eight. I already knew four was in here. B is now not four. Um, oh, that's worth. So where is, where is four in the column? It's somewhere in here. Do I mark that? Maybe. Maybe. Um, sorry, I'm just not, so what, what, what can go here on a Kropke dot? I've got not a one, not an eight. So it's two, three, four, or six, but not six because of the six, eight pair. So two or four leaves one, two, four left over here. And three would make a six. 
That's not very helpful. Oh, but one of these is four. So this is these aren't four actually. That's that is that's starting to look a little better. So now this can't be two. Yeah, this seems close. Um, I have a two three pair here now. Um, hold on. One of these now has to be two, three, and the other one can't be. Oh, the other, I was thinking that means this has to be two, three, but B could be two or three. B could be two or three. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Um, six. No, I don't know anything. I don't know why I thought about sixes. Five, seven, five. Uh, two, three, seven, two, three, four, seven, nine. Yeah, I don't see it. What am I missing here? Um, oh, three can't go here. Yeah, all this coloring is making boxes really blend in. So it's hard for me to see, it's hard for me to, to remember to look at box logic or apparently just normal pseudo view. Uh, two, three. Uh, so three has to go here. This has to be odd by the same logic. This is a five length. So this has to be odd. So it can't be two or six. These have to be three, so that's a five. Huh. That is cool. Five, six. Okay, now we're going. Five, six. What is this? This is eight. The only thing I have left is two, four, which works in the craft view. Two is not here. So two is definitely over here. No six. Oops. So six is over here. This is actually two, seven, nine, right? Yeah. So this is seven or nine because two is up here. I'm going to get rid of that. Two markings. We don't need it anymore. Three, six with seven or nine. What have I left here? Definitely a one and an eight. Oops, neither of those digits. One or eight. Uh, that's a six now. Now can I do this? Oh, eight, let's finish these. Eight, six. Uh, that might be it actually. Two. Two, three, four, seven, nine, I still need. Yeah. Um, this is two, three, or nine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to remember that these are the same. Maybe I'll put a um brown flash there. Oh, ugly. But I'm gonna try it. Okay, eleven. So these are sixteen, seven is nine without one or six or two. So if this is seven, wait, did it right? Yeah. This is, if this is seven, it's four or five. And if it's three, I need 13 without a six or nine. So then it's four, no, five, eight. So it's a, there's a five either way. Which of course there is because five, five, five has to go here, but it can't go here because of the galaxy. So five is definitely here with four or eight and three or seven. And the other four or eight and three or seven go in these. Eight is definitely here. That's not helpful. Um, Hmm. Three. Whatever I'm missing from two, three, six, nine is here, and then what I'm missing from five, seven is here. I don't see. Don't see it. I mean, I could. I, I in theory should know <clears throat> what these add up to, but I really don't want to do that, right? Because I know these digits. I know the sum of these. I know the sum of all this, right? So I could subtract out all the digits I know. 
and then the sums I know. I really don't want to do that. I'm, I'm really trying to find a better way. Um, so what's the, what a, okay, 187 or 9. Let's think about this sum first. This is 11, so this is, this is 178 and 9. And this is 11, so this is 16. So I need, I can't have two digits from 7, 8, and 9 here. So this has to be a 1. Because if, if I, they were, 7, 8 is 15, and 5 is 20, 26, I can only have one more in two digits. This isn't going to work. So that's a 1, 6. Those aren't 1. I have an 8 in here with a 2, 4 pair. So these are from 7, 8, 9, actually. And... So now, what is this? This is 12. So this is 15. So these have to either 8 or 6. If it's 8, 8 doesn't work. Hold on. If it's 8, 1, 5, and 7, well, how did that work? Hold on. If this is 9, no, if this is 7, I need 8. Even easier. 5, 6, 7 would mean there's no way to make 8 in two digits because the high. So I think of eights as having like one seven, two six, three five. Those are the possibilities. And five, six, and seven are the highs in those. One, two, three are the lows. If all the highs are gone, so that's seven. This is what do we say? Nineteen. That's got to be eight. But all, all the high digits to make eight are gone. So this cannot be seven. This has to be nine. And if this is nine, and these aren't. That's not that. That's not nine. Then what I have left here is twelve and nine, is twenty one. This makes six. So now that's a two, four pair. Yes, which makes this nine and three. Thank goodness. Thank you, narrator, for not making me do that math. Um, I feel good enough that I recognize that existence without doing it, without having to do it. That's no longer a four. That's a nine now. That's a two. Um, well, what would we say this sum was? This is 27, that's another 7, it's 34, this is 11. So 2 would go with a 9, which doesn't work. So that's a 4 with a 7. The 3, those aren't, that's now a 5-8 pair. Uh, uh, this cannot be 4 or 9 anymore, so now this is a 2-3 pair. So that's a 7. This is 4, because that's my pencil marked 4. And so now one of these, the, I already knew one of those was a four, I guess. This is still this. That's not two or three. That's nine, which makes this nine. Um, I'm going to get rid of these colorings because I don't think they're helpful anymore. Oops. Uh, I just want to get rid of the pink. And the brown. Can I figure out which this is by the sums? Oh, this is two. I'm not going to get anything on this quad. Um, that's a 7, so that's a 5. That's a 7. What do I have here? Not 8 because of this. So 8 in this row goes here. The remaining digits here are 1 and 5. I'm just double checking that the sum works. 15, 21, 27. Great. Um, I need 5, 6, 7, 8 here. Six and seven definitely go in here somewhere. Eight, nine makes this six. Uh, yeah, one of these is two, three. Oh, but that means two, three, four down here. I probably, I guess I knew that from this. So I had a one, six, and a five, seven over here. Uh, this is a little, little. I mean, frustrating is not the right word because that has a negative connotation. It's 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 frustrating my ability to solve it, but it's I enjoy that. Um, let's see, eleven. These are sixteen. If this is a one two, this is thirteen without four or seven, so it's five eight. But it can't be five eight because of this. So this is three six. Um, that now sums to nine. Eleven is twenty. That sums to seven without three four or six. So that's gonna be two five. Not a one. That's a one. That's not a five. That's a one. Uh, I'm just like so close. No two here. That's not a two. 
So that's a two. What is, I have to know this digit. That's a seven, which makes this five and seven, which makes this, whoops, two and five. I still don't know three or four. It's, uh, what is this? That's the sum of 27. Hold on. This is 1070. That's 10. Without one, nine, three, seven. Seven makes this eight. So now without two, eight as well. So that's before six. Six has to go in this row. So that's the six. That's the four. The remaining digits here are three, which has to go on the bottom, nine, which has to go on the bottom, uh, seven and eight, which go on the top. And that is 27. Three, seven, eight, nine works. Two makes this four, two. Uh, I'm like trying to rush through this. That's five, eight. I just feel so happy to have gotten through this. Four, three. That is seven. Eight. What is this? Uh, this is not six or nine. That's three. That's nine. That's six. That's three. That's nine. And not yet finished. Oh, two, three, two, three. Now we've got it. Ha ha. Uh, thank you for going on this journey with me. Um, and thank you, narrator, especially for doing this puzzle. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, and I'm going to like this puzzle. All right. Uh, I just noticed actually this was, I was watching, um, pedaling penis stream the other day and he basically, I've, I've seen the screen, you know, over a hundred times, I'm sure. And I never noticed that little like button, but anyway, uh, which is just to say, if I didn't like your puzzle before this, it's not, uh, don't take offense to that. Um, anyway, thank you narrator. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.